Pati. My paper topic is ICT based land suitability modeling for urban development using remote sensing in GIS, a case study of Kabul city, Afghanistan. This is the paper ID ART 2020 297. These are the topics which included in this paper. First of all, the background of the topic and literature review. I study some papers. This is the method for this uh, for this article. And the last conclusion and recommendation. First of all, introduction of the of the area. Kabul city have extended quickly since the last 10 years without proper special plans and lack of limitation in order to access formal land and lodgings. This research aims to use geographic information system, JS, remote sensing and analytical hierarchy process to select the appropriate location for urban development in Kabul city, Afghanistan. Different vectors and parameters are used to produce a final land suitability map. What is the problem which I work, uh, for which I work in this area? First one is an appropriate master plan. One of the problems that the Kabul municipality has faced in the land allocation, the main reason for the, state, the stated problem was the lack of institutional and legal mechanism in an appropriate master plan. A large number of Kabul citizens lived in housing area which are which were not suitable for living. These are the objectives to form a methodology for finding most suitable area for urban development through integrated tool of remote sensing and GIS. And these are the specific objectives to produce land suitability index LSI MIF, to develop method methodology for finding suitable area for urban development to identify suitable maps for locally adaptable urban development. There are some papers which I study for urban development. Urbanization is the physical growth of rural or natural into urban area as a result of people immigration to an existing urban area. These effects are in, are in two types, economic effects and environmental effects. Some, um, some information about the study area, which is Kabul, I included in, the, in this graph. 25 million Kabul citizens, cities population are living in unplanned area. The Kabul is the capital of Afghanistan, located in 34 degree north and 69 degree east. 4.7 million population of Kabul city, Kabul city have total area is 1029 square kilometer and Kabul is 64th largest city around the world. 68% informal settlement have altitude up to uh, 1800 meter which is equal to 6000 pits about sea level, above sea level. 980 people per square kilometer and this is the study area this is the map of Kabul city and this is Kabul province is the capital of Afghanistan this is the method which I use for this article for this paper the first section of this research is mapping current land use Land cover classification by Landsat 8 of satellite image. The map projection is WJS 84, zone 46. The second section is land suitability analysis for urban development of Kabul city using multi criteria spatial decision support system coupled with AHP. Eight vectors are considered in each analysis. Finally, the land suitability map are achieved for urban development in Kabul city. These are the pictures which I used in this paper for, uh, for the for finding final MIF, slope, road, land use, river, elevation and settlement. 
and these are the the data which I, I which I found from different sources. The result of the study were acquired from the output of the modeling and analyzing which have used spatial data as input. There are two main contents. To identify the current land use land cover pattern of the study area using GIS. To develop a GIS based modeling for land suitability assessment for urban development. And this is the map of the past one factor slope. This is the map of slope. Slope are disadvantageous for construction purpose because the slope increases the construction cost. Therefore, less slope are more suitable for urban development. Slope measure in terms of degree or percentage. Here, measure in terms of percentage. And these are the area in poor classes I divided. Highly suitable area uh, 6.51 uh, kilo, uh, square kilometer in moderately suitable 13.33 uh, square kilometer marginally suitable 17.67 square kilometer and not suitable 272.49 square kilometer and this is the percentage of every class. The road map up, uh, this is the second factor. Road is important factor in view of accessibility and transformation, transportation for urban area. Effort has been made here to locate the site nearer to any existing road if possible. In order to find out better accessibility to the existing road, buffer zone have been created by taking distance less than 500 and this is the poor classes of the road. This is the, the, the table, the poor classes, which the area is divided into poor classes. The same uh, for every vector I made uh, maps and their areas, land cover, river, and elevation. These are the six vector settlement. This is the method which I found the final map by using AHP model and how to compare pictures to each other. I use this table. And uh, uh, in this uh, uh, sentences, I compared by, 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 by using of tables the pictures to each other. And how to find uh, the consistency ratio and fairwise comparison metrics. At the end, I found uh, comparison consistency ratio for the uh, for this area. And this is the 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 the, the final table for every pictures and their, their suitability area percentage and their weights of the classes. This is the final weight of every class. We, how, how much is it important for final MEF? Total area of cover is 310 kilometers and the poor classes up uh, on the poor classes uh, area for every MEF. And this is the final MEF. By using up HP model, I found this MEF. And this is the area of every class. Suitability classes distribution. For every class I found the area how much kilometer, square kilometer. The study conducted the land suitability analysis and these are the pectors, road, slope, land use, river, elevation and settlements. At the, at the end I found the weight and area of every classes. These are the recommendations to create a stable policy framework for private assessment in urban infrastructure.